What is good, YouTube? I'm coming to you guys with a quick hot topic on the legend Kobe Bryant, one of the top 10 players all time. I just want to discuss his career real quick because I haven't, I didn't make a, a NBA throwback about him, but Kobe Bryant really just struggled this year. He came in, he's coming back from a tour Achilles. He broke his knee. Now he tore his rotator cuff. He out for the whole season. And the doubt, and then on the top of that, the the Lakers, they really ain't gonna be winning no championship no time soon. Uh, like I just made a video about that shit like the other day. It, the the Lakers, they looking like they gonna have to rebuild for a championship because it don't look like they gonna get no free agents this year. And Kobe ain't really a superstar player no more. He struggled the whole year this year, and now he tore his rotator cuff. It's looking pretty sad for him right now. And I'm and I'm kind of thinking like a lot of people, like I said with Josh Smith, is this really the end of Kobe Bryant? Because on some real, some real talk, some real keeping in the hundred from the jump with the people, keeping it real from the start. You got to tell the truth. And Kobe Bryant just struggled this season. He was not himself. He struggled to get a jump shot. His jump shot used to be clutch. He just threw bricks up this year. And is it really worth coming back another year, taking the whole season off? But I mean, the last couple months of a season to come back for another year. He only got to play one more year on his contract, which is next year. Is it really worth playing another year in the NBA when you can just retire? And like I said, next year, the Lakers probably not even going to be a playoff team anyway next year. So what's the point of playing anyway when the team not even a playoff team? He ain't going to be playing for no championship. So he might as well just retire because he's really going to be playing for nothing. He's going to really be playing for legacy, like his stats. To score more points, to get more rebounds, to get more assists, to get more steals. He's playing for stats right now because his legacy is never ain't gonna change. The only way his legacy changes if he win another championship. If he don't win another championship, his legacy gonna be the same. He can go up another thousand points, but it really ain't gonna matter to us. Like he scored thirty three thousand points, I'm not really gonna care because it ain't gonna matter. But if he wins another ring, I'm like damn. Kobe Bryant, the top five player in the league in the NBA history. Right now, he in my top 10. But if he win another championship and he get another finals MVP, uh, you know what? Kobe a top 10, now he top five. But now, it's looking like Kobe going to stay a top 10 player. He's up there with Shaquille O'Neal, uh, Tim Duncan type player. Like, they at the bottom of the top 10 on my list. Kobe Bryant ain't going to move up that list no time soon, especially since he played horrible this year, I'm thinking Kobe Bryant, just like I said, I think he just should just retire it. Ain't no point of coming back next year if you ain't going to win no championship. Or you ain't, you may not even make the playoffs. What's the point of even coming back next year you're not even going to make the playoffs? And last year, he only played six games last year. Then he got injured again. After he tore his Achilles, came back and broke his knee. He played 35 games this year and tore his rotator cuff, which is going to end him for the rest of the season. He averaged 22 points on 29% shooting from the three-point line, which is horrible. 37% from the field, which is horrifying. And he averaged 3.7 turnovers, which is really horrible. That's, that's not even that good. That's horrible. He scored 22 points a game, but it really was a hard 22 points. He had to work. He had to shoot 20 shots. This will get 20 points. He averaged 20.4 shots a game. That's embarrassing. Kobe Bryant just needs to retire. His legacy ain't going to matter. It ain't going to get no better. Like Peyton Manning, if he comes back and win a championship next year, he moves up in the list. Kobe Bryant ain't going to win a championship, so there's no point in he, him even playing next year if they're not even going to make the playoffs. He might as well retire because we ain't going to care about next season because it don't even matter if he plays or not. And he's going to probably come back in the beginning of the season, and the team is going to be horrible. And if they do be, like, say if they come back and they're a playoff team, then I play. Like, I, can, I got a chance to win the championship. But they come back with another top 10 pick, and that's it. And just some role players, I'll just retire. I think Kobe just should give it up. I just want to know my opinion about how I think about this ending. This, this three straight end, season, end, season ending injuries for Kobe Bryant. And he came back worse each year. I think you should just give it up. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Feel free to leave video uh, video suggestions. Check out my older video. If you like this video, you like my older video, subscribe. 
And if you hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of y'all day. Queen Way, Queen W twenty. Let me know what you guys think. Should Kobe just give it up and retire, or he gonna miss a lot of money though, cause he gonna make twenty something million next year. So he gonna miss twenty million if he retire. So he might play just to get his twenty million. But is he really worth it? Cause you can get injured again, and that's gonna destroy your body even more if you really think about it. 